I will now present the General Authorities Area 70s and General Auxiliary Presidencies of the Church for your sustaining vote. Before doing so, I should like to take note of the recent passing of President James E. Faust, second counselor in the First Presidency. He was an extremely able man, a man of great faith and capacity who contributed much to our meetings. We greatly miss him. We extend our condolences to his beloved companion, Ruth, and their children. Now, it is proposed that we sustain Gordon Bittner Hinckley as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Thomas Spencer Monson as first counselor in the First Presidency, and Henry Benyon Eyring as second counselor in the First Presidency. Those in favor may manifest it. Any opposed may do so. It is proposed that we sustain Thomas Spencer Monson as president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, Boyd Kenneth Packer as acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve, and the following members of that quorum, Boyd K. Packer, L. Tom Perry, Russell M. Nelson, Dallin H. Oaks, M. Russell Ballard, Joseph B. Worthland, Richard G. Scott, Robert D. Hales, Jeffrey R. Holland, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, David A. Bednar, and Quentin L. Cook. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any who may be opposed, it is proposed that we sustain the, sustain the counselors in the First Presidency and the Twelve Apostles as prophets, seers, and revelators. All in favor, please indicate, contrary by the same sign. Now, <clears throat> we extend a release this morning to Elder Charles DDA, Merrill J. Bateman, Robert C. Oaks, and Quentin L. Cook as members of the Presidency of the Quorums of the Seventy. It is also proposed that we release Elders Merrill A. Bateman, Monty J. Bruff, Jean R. Cook, Robert K. Dellenbaugh, and W. Rolf, Rolf Kerr as members of the First Quorum of the Seventy and designate them as Emeritus General Authority. All who wish to join in doing so may please indicate. Any opposed? Elder Kerr will continue to serve as Commissioner of the Church Education System. We extend a release to Elders D. Rex Jarrett, Robert F. Horton, Wayne S. Peterson, R. Conrad Schultz, and H. Ross Workman as members of the Second Quorum of the Seventy. Those who wish to join with us in expressing appreciation to these brethren may manifest it. It is proposed that we sustain Claud Claudio R. M. Costa, Stephen F. E. Snow, and Walter F. Gonzalez as members of the Presidency of the Quorums of the Seventy. All in favor, please manifest. Any opposed? It is proposed that we sustain the other general authorities, Area 70s and General Auxiliary President as presently constituted. Those in favor may manifest it, and those opposed may so indicate. 
It appears that the sustaining has been a unanimous in the affirmative. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your continued sustaining faith and prayers. We shall now ask President Eyring, Elders Cook and Gonzalez to take their designated seats. The choir will now sing, Come Unto Him. President Boyd K. Packer, acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve, will then address us. He will be followed by Bishop Richard C. Edgeley of the presiding bishopric, after which we shall hear from Sister Mary Ann Cook, second counselor in the General Young Women Presidency, following her remarks. Enrica R. Falabella of the Seventy will address us. The choir and congregation will then sing, Now Let Us Rejoice. Elder Spencer J. Condi of the Seventy will then address us. He will be followed by Elder Dieter F. Uchtdorf of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. <laughs> 